Hello, so we're back, and this time we have a customer job. This is a nice laptop, this is a Lenovo Legion, it's a gaming one. So what's the problem with this laptop? We have the customer letter here. During a Windows uh, 10 update, system... Uh, uh, the system downloaded a system uh, firmware update after rebooting the system, uh, start updating the BIOS, and after that completed the system, rebooted and stayed on on a black screen for 30 60 seconds before rebooting again the machine this time the machine stay on the black screen for five minutes before it turned it off steps i try to repair myself was disconnecting the simos battery and battery then hold the power button to remove charge before reconnecting the system with no success i saw your video on a similar laptop the memory had one with the same issue uh, however, I'm not comfortable uh, performing that repair myself, so I'm hoping you'll be able to sort this system out. So basically, the laptop died during a Windows update, and you know what? In the last period of time, I had so many, like, the laptop dying, uh, doing updates. I mean, before, the update was related with the Windows. But on those days, the update is related with everything. You know, I mean, I mean, an update can screw up your hardware. I mean, the BIOS. Yeah, if the BIOS is dead, the laptop is dead. Now let's quickly open the laptop and check inside. Okay, so the laptop is open. It's proper nice uh, inside. Let's find the charger. Look, we have a seal here, so the board was never... Uh, uh, took out. Just let me find the the, 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 the charger. Yeah, I found it. Yeah, Lenovo. Square yellow pin. So we'll be connecting the charger to the power supply to see what is happening. You see the IO chip is reading the power button. Mm -hmm. Okay, plug in the charger. We plug the charger. This is a bad sign. I mean, it's not charging. So, uh, it is bad. It is bad. Okay, let's try and power on the laptop. And the IO chip is not uh, reading the power button. And you know what? This is no bias. I mean, it's just a coincidence. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I do have current. I do have everything. Nothing. It's no reading the power button. On the other hand, I can't see any current drop. Like uh, any current, the laptop will take any current. It should take like 10 milliamps. Because we have a 3.3 volts power supply, which is always on. Now we can see here, what we can see here, just a quick check, yeah, before we are uh, stripping down the laptop. We have the fuse, we have a MOSFET, so we can check a few things. So here we have a fuse and we have 19. And after the fuse, we have 19. So the fuse is good. Okay. The main power rail, before we are opening the laptop, yeah, just... A quick look. The main power rail should be on a power supply like this one. And probably it's not here. here. 3.2. Hmm. So the main power rail is like 3 volts. So we are like over one hour later. Over It took me one hour just to understand what is happening here. So one more time. One more time, yeah? Let me plug the charger. Let's understand. So the customer said, actually, you know, the laptop is coming over. But not for us. So uh, the main issue was the main power rail, check on the screen, 3.2 volts. Yeah. So we start from here. And I spent over one hour. 
I even go there to replace the BQ chip and I still didn't solve any problem. To realize, actually, it's a charging ID issue. You can believe that? So here I have another charger. It's like a basic one. I cannot use the customer charger. You know, we cannot diagnose or repair things with like 12, amp, 12 amps charger. With this charger, yeah, with this charger, check here. Check on the screen, 20.3. You can see? So I spent over one hour only for the, from this reason. Don't get me wrong, yeah? Usually I trust my tools, and I did fix and test a lot of laptops with this uh, universal charger, yeah? With this one. I fixed a lot, and it was no problem. And I never seen this kind of issue, like if you plug like a, a, a charger, if, or if you come with the power supply without charging a deep pin, usually you have your main power rail. It will not charge. It will not come on, yeah? But you will have your main power rail. Not on this case. On this case, the power rail was not present. I had like three volts, which was driving me crazy, like over one hour of work. Just to realize, wait, it's not working with this one. Insane, okay? So what I did, obviously, yeah, I took out the BIOS sheet because we have a BIOS problem. I mean, with the charger, the board is coming on. Of course, with no picture. So we do have the BIOS chip here. I got a BIOS, so all we have to do now is to go on the screen and uh, program this BIOS chip and test the laptop if it's working. Accept, let's identify the chip. Fine, let's open the BIOS. Good. Now let's write the BIOS. And we are praying for the laptop to work. I mean, it should work. Clearly, this is a BIOS problem. Laptop coming on with no picture on the screen. Died, because that's the thing, that's the history. The laptop died during a Windows update. Let's wait for the BIOS. Okay, and everything seems to be fine. Yeah, the content is verified. Now all what is left is to solder the BIOS chip back. And hopefully it will work. Let's go under the microscope and solder the chip back. The BIOS chip is here. Uh, it's saying on the board the pin number one. Let's see. So it must be like that. Yeah, so if you repair this laptop, this is 1.8 volts BIOS. Let me grab the solder iron. We can solder back with the solder iron. Let me use some flux, Russian flux. Yeah, the problem with the gaming motherboard, they are sucking the heat badly. That is perfect. Perfect, so it will work or not, huh? What do you think? Your opinion? Hmm? Now is the moment. Let's plug the charger. Uh, BIOS battery. Charger. Now let's see what's going on. Yeah, the laptop is coming on. Okay, so the BIOS is good. Let's just connect quickly the heatsink. Good. 
Good. Good, good, good. Let's plug the fans. Now let's plug the charger again. And let's see if we have any picture. Yeah, I can see the fan spinning. Yeah, you can see the keyboard, the RGB. Why is it taking so long? And we have backlight. I see him backlight. Ah, huh? we have picture. We have picture. We didn't have picture before. We have picture. Let me put it all back together quickly, and then we can test properly with the, with the hard drive back and everything. Yeah. Give me a few minutes. Okay, so it's all back together. I plugged the original charger. Let's test it. Pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on. It's loading the windows. And we have windows. Okay, so we fixed the laptop and it was a BIOS uh, problem uh, which came with the Windows update. Okay, now what is to learn from this? Because I spent over one hour and uh, the answer is I don't think it's anything to learn. I mean, indeed, this is a strange case where actually the power rail was missing with uh, a third-party charger but you have no choice that's the problem first you don't know if the customer charger is good the second you can't be insane yeah i mean you you want to be insane and try to diagnose and fix a laptop with a 15 amps charger i mean check check on this charger I mean, any mistake, like any, it will blow up your board, 15 amps. We are speaking about 300 watts charger. Probably this has, has some uh, RTX uh, 3080, I believe. Uh, if you need 300 watts charger. But yeah, you got the point. You can't really use something like that to diagnose and repair a laptop. Okay, good. So uh, I will stop now. I'm happy I helped the customer. I'm happy I helped the customer. All good. Low battery. Let's try to raise the brightness. Yeah, working great. Now, the BIOS is not that big problem writing the BIOS. But you, you write probably an empty BIOS, like a wiped one, like, like, like no serials inside. And, uh, you know, just to share with you, you can use this tool if you want to change on the Lenovo to change the, the serials, yeah? You can use something like that. I'm just saying, okay? Maybe you have a case like this and uh, you want to make it like original. Now, I use this tool to fix this? No, it's more complicated. So actually, the serials was encrypted on the original BIOS. But because we are a community, and there are a lot of pe good people on this community, like how I told you so many times, and people underestimate the power of the community. We have Discord, we have Forum, you know? We have good people there which can help us with something like that. Okay, so I'll stop now. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video like always and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.